Yeah. Is this a front tooth? We're joined by 149 pound finalist Levon Mays of Missouri. We'll start with an opening statement from Levon and then take questions from the media, please. Wait, my opening statement? I can say whatever I want? Yes. Oh, well, I'm watching. What, 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 <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be careful. What, what are things people normally say in this? Uh, I don't know. But, like, I'm, I'm happy to be here. You know, I've been, I've been wrestling the past uh, 11 years of my life. Um, this is somewhere where I never thought I would have been because I didn't know college wrestling existed when I first started. So, uh, you know, it's kind of cool to be, you know, what a lot of people consider, you know, the pinnacle of wrestling. I mean, there's the Olympics too, but how many people actually watch that? Maybe you can watch like beach volleyball or something, right? <laughs> uh, I guess that's my opening statement. Questions, please. Sweet. Hold on. Can you take us through the, the final sequence there and how you're able to get the, uh, the late takedown? Uh, well, you no know, takedown was scored the first like six minutes of the match. Um, I was a lot closer than he was. So at that moment, I said, if I want to wrestle another minute, I can just not shoot. If I want to be done now, I can shoot. So I chose to shoot. Um, he blocked it off pretty well. And then I was able to hit a drag that I've been kind of working on all week. Um, I almost got it on him early on in the match, but uh, it didn't work out so well. But uh, I stuck with the process and did what uh, I'd been training to do. Uh, your, your old teammate, Drake, uh, you know, he made he won the finals. Uh, did you talk to him at all before this match? No, should I? I should probably call him. I'm going to call him. That's See, look, that's that's good advice right there. I'm going to call Drake and see how he's doing. Uh, he's down in Texas living his life uh, away from he's wrestling. Gonna, so. He's going to be here tomorrow. Oh, he's, he's going to be here? I'm still going to call him. <laughs> look, I'm, I'm calling him. I'm going to call him. LeVon, you and Max Thompson going back and forth a lot this year. It wasn't back and forth. I mean, it's just it was just one back and forth. And then this year, y'all y'all matched up a lot. I mean, it's three it's three to one. I mean, he's he's in our conference, so you know we meet up a couple times. Uh, they go to the scuffle. I mean, that's that's just like the way the sport is. Like the tough teams want to seek out tough competition. You and I, as as a team that wants to be in the top ten, wants to be in the top five, and uh, Schwab has made that perfectly clear. And I mean, we, we we know Coach Smith. Coach Smith, you know, he hates losing. So uh, you know he he always wants to be in the top five. So there there is no no hate of like wanting to schedule each other. You know you got Big Ten schools that d that don't want to schedule other tough teams because the Big Ten schedule is so tough. Well, I mean the, the MAC schedule is getting tougher. You know the ACC is pretty tough. You know other other schools aren't, aren't complaining about the toughness of schedule. Levin, you're getting ready to wrestle a guy who's dominated this tournament the last two years. What do you have not to do to avoid that happening to you, or what do you have to do to change things around? Uh, I mean, I, I, well, it's probably bad if I said it's like I could be a man and wrestle, but I mean, that's just, you know, assuming that other people haven't been men to wrestle. I don't, I don't know. Um, the, one of the greatest pieces of advice that I got was from uh, Mark Ellis. Uh, he, he was our assistant coach my freshman year, the year that I registered at Evansville, and he was talking about getting off a of bottom, and he was all like, you know what, if if you were in prison and you let another guy hold you down for two minutes, you know what happens. And it was like, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a man and get out. And that year was so rough for me on bottom. But you know, that's that that's like the mantra that you need in this. Like that could be life or death. And and if you treat it like that, you know, you'll you'll find a way. So I'll treat tomorrow night like it's life or death, and hopefully I find a way to come out on top. Levon, during that coach's challenge, and I guess shortly thereafter, just what were some of the thoughts and emotions going through your head? Uh, I mean, first thing I did was I looked over at Coach Smith and I was like, hey, look, I'm on TV. <laughs> and then uh, I asked him, I was like, is, is it going to be reversed? You know, like being serious because, you know, I'd put my head gear back on and then I'd have to get back in the zone. Um, and he was like, no, there, there's no way that that wasn't too. So then at that point, then I was just like sitting there waiting. Um, you know, there's, there's nothing to lose there. I mean, if it's a questionable call, you, you want to challenge it at this point. Uh, team points is big, um, you know. Allowing a kid to be in the finals is, is a real big accomplishment. And, you know, the, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of uh, Schwab just to challenge it, even if it wasn't as questionable as a lot of people think it is. Uh, you know, he, he wants to give his wrestlers the best opportunity to, to make the most of their experience here. Um, on television, you were mentioning about your fans, and I'd just like to hear about the experience of wrestling the NCAA tournament where your fans can get here and support you. What, what's it been like to go through the these two days with the, the Tiger faithful? Well, day one, I didn't even look up at the crowd because they just wanted to get in and out of here. Uh, I've been wrestling a long time, and you know sometimes you don't, you don't want to be around it. Uh, you'd be having a bad day, and you just want to get out there and go compete, and then 
come back. Uh, t today, you know, I, I recognize the crowd. I saw that I saw them, uh, and, you know, showed them that, that, that I, I'm thankful for their support. Uh, it's so much better. Like, there's, there's no knock to, like, Oklahoma City or, or New York, but it being in St. Louis, especially the year that we were ranked number one coming in, it was just a great feeling. We had the whole state on our back, and, you know, this year we're not ranked number one, so we, we don't have the entirety of the state here like we did two years ago, but the fans here are, I'm pretty sure they're delighted watching Joey pick dudes up and pin them and Jaden do it and Jaden things. <laughs> How many people, relatives, do you have here? And, and second question is, what would it mean to cap your resume, college resume, with a national championship? If you uh, I mean, okay, so I, I can't give you an exact number because I saw my uncle this morning and I didn't think he was coming, so I was like, I mean, you know, you could probably estimate, like, relatives, probably about, like, six or seven, you know? Uh, you know, that's, that's my, my real close family. Uh, I'm graduating in like two months, you know, with an electrical engineering degree. So, uh, you know, my, my family's choosing to go to the graduation instead of this. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a smart thing. I, I think graduating college with an electrical engineering degree is a lot better than winning a, a national title. Um, with that being said, you know, I only have, you know, this last match now in a Missouri singlet. Think about it, it's kind of sobering, but, uh, you know, um, I can't compete collegiately anymore after this, so, you know, in this moment right now, winning this type, national title is going to be more important. You you hit me up in about, like, three, four years, I'll be like, yeah, you know, that was a fun time in my life, but, you know, I got two little kids now, and, you know, I'm trying to pay bills, and I got taxes, and it's, it's just whatever you put into it, and right now I'm putting a lot into it, so uh, hopefully I don't, I find a way not to be disappointed after this weekend. That'll do it for LeVon. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.